Let's stand for the reading of the word. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last all way. Everybody, I'm so glad. oh yes I am. Trouble don't last. Somebody else say I'm so glad. Remember this, come on. He may not come when you want him, but he's on time. Times of trouble found him to be a friend of mine. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Oh, yes, I am. Trouble on life. One more time with the other verse. Hey. May not come when you want him, but it's on time. Times of trouble found him to be a friend of mine. Strong clouds where I want you to know. He'll be there. All of your troubles, take them to the Lord. He'll help you to bear, to bear, to bear. Everybody, I'm so. We're gonna go. I mean, I'm gonna preach. Drop it on. I'm so glad. the favorite part. Say weeping may, weeping endure. Keep the faith, it will be. Weeping may, endure. Keep the faith, it will be. Come on, Soprano! Say it again, Soprano! Y'all sound good! Oh, oh, oh! Come on, Alto! Y'all sound good tonight! Trouble don't last our way! No, no, no! Trouble!
and go crazy right now. Exodus, the first chapter. God bless you. Now let me teach you something. Whatever teach kata de be kanza da boho. Let me de be anshala la bakasa. Let me teach you something. Whenever God decides to interrupt the program and drop glory you're supposed to go crazy because your miracle is in the glory your house is in the glory your children's salvation is in the Philippians 4 said that my God shall supply all your need according to his riches. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Your problem is you've been looking for riches in your bank account instead of in the glory. If I get in the glory, I get the money. If I get in the glory, I get the house. If I get in the glory, I get the power. I will. Sit down. Bless you. I'm glad to be here now. So whatever. Oh, 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 oh.
Come on. Exodus chapter one. Now, sit down, y'all, please. Please sit down. I said, neighbor, the reason I'm acting crazy, tell him the man of God just located where all my money is. I've been looking for it at the bank, but I should have got in the glory. I've been looking for it at the collar, but I should have got in the glory. Yeah! Oh, I Sit down, please. Sit down. Sit down, please. Tell your neighbor you've been looking in the wrong place. Tell them you've been looking in the wrong place. But watch this. Watch this. Ephesians 3 and 20 declares, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. Oh, but there's another part to it. According to the power that worketh on the inside, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the power and the excellency of God will be of God and not of us. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor, can I give you another revelation? The glory you're looking for is not up in the sky, but it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. So the next time you want something, just call on the power that's on the inside of you because greater is he that is in me than he sit down sit down now Exodus the first chapter see that's why you don't even understand why and I don't plan on going this right but it's the Holy Ghost go to Malachi the third chapter I know I told you Exodus but I, I just changed my mind when, whenever my daddy hear me call out a scripture he tell the people next to him I wouldn't turn there if I was you cause he ain't going there no how go to Malachi the third chapter I'm getting ready to show you something I'm gonna show you why you pay tithe I'm going to show you why you give. I'm going to show you why. Because see, you think that that window that you're looking for up there. But I'm going to show you something. Go to Malachi, the third chapter. I need the screen. 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 Okay, three and ten. Now, I want you to look on the screen because some of y'all might have different versions. But this is the version I want right here. Bring you all the tithe into the storehouse that there may be what? Me too. Where? My and prove me now here with, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open what? You. Hold on, stop. Y'all didn't read that right. I'm going to open who? You. 
I'm going to open who? Then what does it call you? The windows of heaven. See if I will not open you. The window of heaven. Well, let, let's, let's break this thing down. Because see, I know the church world teaches us today that when we die, it's going to be a big old mansion up there in the sky. But let me help you. Because remember, St. John 6, he's the three declares that the, the spirit quickeneth and the flesh profiteth nothing. But the words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are life. You can never understand God through your natural mind. The carnal mind cannot understand the things of the spirit. It's not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. Is that what the Bible says? Now. St. John, the 14th chapter, when you read that, it said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are what? And if it were not so, I would not have what? Told you so. I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be. That I may come again and receive you unto my now St. John 14, 15, and 16 all go together. Here is Jesus getting ready to usher in a new dispensation because he understood that it was impossible for the Holy Ghost to come had he stayed here. So you got to understand, good God, you preaching, boy. So you got to understand that according to what some folk believe, Jesus and the Holy Ghost are not two different people. They're the same person. Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh. Well, here it is, God. Good God, you preaching, boy. Here it is God wanted to give you some power but it was impossible for him to divide his power had he stayed in flesh. So what God did, the Holy Ghost is Jesus broken up in the biggest of pieces without losing power. Because usually when you break something up it loses its power. But somehow God is so God that he's able to break himself up in different kind of ways and get inside everybody's body and everybody in here who got the Holy Ghost. You know, you speak in tongues. I told you that. But when you get it, you get the Holy Ghost. Now, he's ushering in a new dispensation. And here it is now. The apostles are lonely. They're upset. They're mad. They're, they're mad about it because they don't want him to leave. But he said, listen, I'm not going to leave you comfortless he said but if I don't go the comforter cannot come but for a long time I didn't understand it because in my father's house there are many mansions and I'm expecting to go to heaven and see a whole bunch of mansions but it didn't line up to me because there was a man in the Old Testament who wanted to build God a house and he said how can you build me a house when the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool remember in my father's house there are many mansions but God raised up an apostle by the name of Paul an apostle born out of due season Paul said I did not confer flesh and blood but it pleased God who separated me from my brother's womb that he might reveal unto me the revelation of Jesus Christ I did not confer with flesh and blood neither did I go to the apostles that before me I didn't go to Samaria but everything I learned I learned by the revelation of Jesus Christ Paul sat up there and said listen he said listen I want to build your house you can't build me a house the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool God raised up a man named Paul Paul said uh uh you trying to build him a temple but he don't dwell in temples made with man's hands know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost what was St. John 14 trying to tell us in my father's house what is his house the church there are many mansions you miss what I just said I said you miss it see you look at you don't hear what I'm saying lay hands on yourself say ain't no mansion in the Sky, tell him I'm the mansion because I have this treasure in earthen vessels. See what's wrong with us? We're looking for something to fall out the sky, but God said everything you need is on the inside. And when you tap into what's in you, you'll drive every devil out of your house, you'll drive every witch out your neighborhood. We got a witch in here tonight, but I want the witch to know no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I feel the whole Holy Ghost in here. I feel the power of the living God. Somebody jump on your feet and scream. Jesus. Sit down. Lay hands on yourself. Say, I'm the magic. Say, I'm the magic. Go to St. John chapter 1. 
Come on, hurry up. Let's go ahead and walk this word tonight. I feel good. I ain't ate. Uh, I be sometime a little lethargic in the daytime. But my God, when that anointing get on me, he said, I'll be the strength of your life. Am I right about it? Go to St. John chapter 1. Now see, you got to get this. That's why I pay tithe. I do not pay tithe looking for something to come out the sky. But when I pay tithe, I release God in me. You got that? Go to St. John 1. While you got St. John 1, go to Joshua chapter 1. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks, St. John. Go to Joshua chapter 1. Thank we're going to read verse 8. Yee. Like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my heart. All right, where we at? You got Joshua 1? Screened, verse 8. I think it's verse 8. It ain't there? Is it coming? Okay, Joshua chapter 1. Ver you and John. I said Joshua 2. My sister behind, pray for y'all. Joshua chapter 1. Oh, now you want to put it up there. Now listen, I'm going to show you something. Tell somebody it's in, it's in you. Tell somebody else it's in you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein when? Yeah. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. Keep going. Therein. For then thou shalt make thy way what? Thou shalt make thy way what? Thou shalt make thy way what? And then thou shalt have what? Holy Ghost spoke my other day. He said, son, they thought when I said their way prosperous, they thought that I was talking about the way that they walk, I'm going to make that prosperous. He said, but remember I came on the scene and said, I am the way. I said, what are you telling me? He said, on the inside of every believer, there's a little Jesus in there. He called by a shatter. And when you pay your time and you meditate on the word, God said, I shall make thy way prosperous. That word prosperous means to break out, break through, break over. See, whenever God prospered you, that means that good God, you preaching, boy. See, it comes so quick to me that I have to, I have to, I have to tell myself. Because, see, I don't know what I'd be saying, but it'd be good to me. It'd be like I'd be getting facts while I'm preaching. You understand? He said, I'm going to make your way prosperous, which means that little baby Jesus on the inside of you. Because 1 John 4 and 4 declares, greater is he that is what? In me than he that is in the world. So what I can do is as I meditate on the word and get that word on the inside of me, I cause that word to begin to work on my behalf. See, I was sitting in prayer one day and the Holy Ghost said to me, son, I'm getting ready to teach you how to talk to the devil. So what I did was I went and got a pen and a pad and I went and sat in my room. That was when I sat with my grandma. I went and sat in my room and, I, and God said, I'm getting ready to teach you how to to talk to the devil. Well, I sat there and when I went in my room, I sat there for about 30 minutes and did nothing happen. Well, about an hour later, I saw a demon show up to my door. The demon showed up right there to my door and the demon was shaking. See, see, I'm a I, I can teach you about that too because see, you scared of the devil, but the devil is scared of you. The Bible declares that the demons believe that there is one God and tremble. You don't understand. So here it is. Good God, you preaching boy. So here it is. I, I, I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. I got my pad and my pencil and I'm sitting there waiting getting ready for God to teach me how to talk to the devil. I sit there for about an hour then I sit there another two hours then I sit there another three hours and God don't say nothing to me. I said Lord I thought you was getting ready to teach me how to talk to the devil. He said I did. I said how? He said you don't say nothing to him. I do all the talking. See that's what's wrong with us. See we've not learned that you don't have no power as long as you talk. When Jesus was led into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil he he didn't come up with no new revelation. He told the devil, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. See, the next time the devil tells
tell you you sick you don't sit up and fuss and fight with the devil you tell the devil it is written that he was wounded for my transgressions bruised for my iniquities the chastisement of my peace was upon his shoulders and with his stripes I'm healed look at that devil when he tell you you got to worry about some hoodoo voodoo and who's trying to do it to you look at that devil and say devil it is written that if God be for me who can be against me it is written that the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear he's the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh they stumbled and they fell though an whole sin and camp against me the war should rise I will not fear one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after tell the devil it is written he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty slap your neighbor tell him I ain't scared of the devil Slap your neighbor, tell him it's in you. Tell him it's in you. Now, come on back, preacher. Remember, you don't have, you don't talk to the devil. God, see, I talk to him. The angels wouldn't even rebuke him. When you look over there in Jude, they disputed over the body of Moses. The Bible said that the angel would not make a railing accusation, but said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. See, you ain't got to fight him because he's already fought. See, the battle is fought and the victory is already done. All you got to do is don't wait till the battle's over. You go ahead and shout now. See, some of you don't understand. When he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. What is finished? Your pain is finished. Your sickness is finished. Your struggle is finished. I'm getting ready to cause you to walk in everything God told you to walk into. Slap your neighbor. Tell him, I'm going to walk in it. Now, go to St. John 1. St. John 1. We're going home. Because y'all ready to go home now. St. John 1. Hallelujah. Woo. St. John chapter 1. Are you ready? In the beginning was the word. In the beginning what? In the beginning what? Slap your neighbor. Say anything that was. Ain't no more. Plain and simple. I don't care what theologian is in here. I don't care what English person is in here. Anybody who know anything about English, whenever was is in a sentence, that means it's what? In the beginning what? And the word? With God and the word? I got a problem. I got a problem. I got a problem. Because in the beginning was the word. You're telling me the word ain't in the beginning no more? Word was with God. You're telling me the word ain't with God no more? The word was God. I got a problem. What happened to the word? Let's go to verse 14. And the word became word that was with God became flesh and will be held this glory as the glory only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth the word became flesh well who was that word that became flesh sound like it's talking about Jesus keep telling you that Jesus is the God man Ain't no two different people. No. See, God tell of the suit. I told him in the room last, back there while they was eating. I say, see, folk can't catch his revelation. But all God did when he made the body of Jesus, all he did was tell of the suit. Right now, if you tell of a suit, when you go to the person who tell us the suit, to let you know that the... Oh, 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 Come on, here go the favorite part. Say, weeping may, weeping endure. Keep the faith, it will be. Weeping may endure. Keep the faith, it will be. That's 
stand for the reading of the word. I'm so glad. Trouble don't let start away. Everybody, I'm oh yes I am. Trouble don't let. One more time with the other verse. Hey. Man, I come when you want him. But it's on time. Times of trouble found him to be a friend of mine. Oh, yes, I Trouble don't last. All right, we're going to go. Remember this. Come on. He may not come when you want him, but he's on time. Times of trouble found him to be a friend of mine. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, yes, I am. Strong cloud. You to know he'll be there. All of your trouble, take them to the Lord. He'll help you to bear, to bear, to bear. Everybody, I'm so. We're gonna go. I mean, I'm gonna preach. Trouble on. 